Bomber Fox, Bomber Fox. He's like Bomberman, but he's a fox. Does he do anything that's interesting? Not really. It's just like Bomberman with a fox. Hey, dudes. This game's called Bomber Fox. Oh, yeah. So, Bomber Fox, it's, uh, it's not bad, you know. I uh, played it for a bit. And you can play the story mode alone or with a friend, which I think adding that, you know, partner friendship to the mix uh, definitely makes this game more enjoyable. Um, at least a, a smidgen. So, the graphics, they're decent neon graphics. Uh, there's a really long tutorial, and I found the tutorial really slowed things down. Um, so, the story pretty much is like your your ship crashes in the game on a uh, foreign world and these little like robot uh, creatures come out and they're like oh we're very advanced we can fix all your stuff but there's a catch we need you to be in this tournament and win this tournament because the same team wins every year so it's a decent story um, so pretty much uh, you play in that competitive tournament to get your ship fixed so it's a decent setup. It's sort of like a Daft Punk meets Bomberman vibe to it. Um, the music seems a little bit on the generic side. Like it's when you're listening to it, it's, it's decent, but like you're not gonna remember it later. Um, the tutorial, as I said, yeah, it's like way too long. Should be optional. There's like ten levels, and like I think the game would be should be able to ask you like, do you want to play the tutorial? Because it just if you play Bomberman, you've already played that tutorial before, so... Um, and there's a lot of text, and you have to, like, A, 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 and you're there for what feels like 10 to 20 minutes. It could be shorter. Um, just the character itself. Like, the character Bomberman... Or, sorry, Bomber Fox. Uh, it's just way too slow. Like, I actually died because the Bomber Fox was way too slow in uh, escaping the bombs, which... You know, they're pretty much just like Bomberman. They have a certain length and their skulls. Um, and then there's like blocks that uh, if you hit them, they tell you like there's a number on them and tells you like what the blast radius is going to be in the game. So, um, yeah, so apparently there's four player multiplayer, but like after playing the one player mode, I don't know if I want to play that. I think it could redeem the game a lot because the one player mode is sort of like meh. Like if you had nothing else to play, you would play this, but like there's so many options now with video games that I doubt you're gonna play this because you know, for five bucks you can find a pretty decent uh, game on Steam these days. So yeah, it's, it's not like super thrilling like a traditional Bomberman game. I guess it's like what I concluded was like it's a game cost 569. If you feel like the game is worth it, you know, go for it. I didn't think so personally. It's nowhere near as fun as Bomberman. It's it's if you don't own a console and you've never bought a Bomberman game and you don't have 80 bucks for 30 bucks whatever it is for the latest one Super Bomberman are, you know, pick this up for 5 bucks or on sale for 2 or 3, but like other than that, like it's it's a good like substitute until you can afford a real Bomberman game. It, no, nothing against the developer, just it's only okay-ish. Yeah, and if you have to own every single last Bomberman game or games that are like Bomberman, you'd probably buy this in a Steam sale and be like, yeah. Um, yeah, so then you would get it, but otherwise I would say just pass on this. like. It looks cooler than it is, and um, yeah, just get Bomberman. You don't need to be a Bomber fa Fox at all, you just, you know, be a Bomberman instead. Keep on gaming.